Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. We will see in this video call as function in our select queries field list. Let's get started. For explaining the call as function, simple report program I have created. I will write one simple select statement. It will be not that much simple, but I can say simple. So let me get some data from the VBAK table. So what I will do, basically, I will try to get the amount from the first invoice table. If I am not getting the amount from the invoice table, I try to get from the sales order table. So we will hit VBAK, VBFE, VBFA and VBRK table. So VBAK table, as you know, uh, it's a sales order table and VBAP is the line item table and VBFA flow document flow table and VBRK is a, our invoice table. We will all thing we will do in one select. Let's get started. So what we will do, select uh, from VBAK uh, is SO. I give some alias name so it will be easy to remember. So sales order, SO means sales order. Uh, inner join, do I need uh, line item table? I don't think so, I need line item table. I just, so inner join, then I will use left outer join. Left outer join with uh, left outer join with VBFA table. So what I will do, VBFA is a flow table. I can say this table is flow table on condition. What condition I want to match? I want to pass the this document number. So where on SO where the flow document number is there? Flow document number. I will pass in presenting document. If you know VBFA table, we can get. So as you know, the, in SD we have sequence. First we have sales order, then delivery, then invoice. A simple sequence I am telling. So for getting the, there is two things. We either we can get the presenting document number or subsequent document number. So in this case we are having the sales order number and we want to get the invoice number. So we have to get the for, uh, subsequent number using the presenting number. So for that. It might be complicated bit, but I don't have other example. I might have used that uh, uh, standard uh, uh, S flight model or some. I just want to give some real time. That is the reason I use this VBAK, VBFA, VBFA and VBRK. So what I will do from the floor table, uh, I will pass the presenting document. So VBLN presenting means VBELV. The presenting document means the VBLV in the floor table. Flow means VBFA table is a presenting document i will pass the so number sales order number so what is the control so number means so underscore vb -E -L -V. so vb -E -L -N, in this case from the vbak table it will be VBA. and i have some i have to pass which previous document i am passing passing so for that what i have to do i have to tell the vbfa table that the previous presenting document vb vb e l v so presenting document means VB uh, E. So I have to tell something like that. Uh, what is document card? VB type. So VB type underscore V. Presenting document means presenting document type. Our what is the, our presenting document? Type category is C. So presenting document is C. I have to pass in. This is sales order time. I already know. And uh, uh, you can check out in VB type. Uh, domain what all are the document types are there and following document i want to get which document i want to get so that should be vb type underscore n so following document type should i, I should get the invoice for invoice we have m okay so this tables vb eln field since in vb elv field we are passing the sales order number vb eln field will return us the invoice number so I will use that invoice number to hit the VBRK table. So let me again join one left outer join again. Why I am using the left outer join? I will tell you that left outer join VBRK table is uh, this should be invoice table. And what I can do on I can put uh, the condition again. So what condition this uh, uh, invoice VBLN I mean invoice number uh, VBLN should equal to Oh, sorry, VB control space also I can do VBLN should equal to uh, this whatever the data we are getting flow tables VBLN 
I have to pass this invoice number and I have to pass in VBRK to get the amount from VBRK to VBLN. That's it. It's a join of the tables. So now I want to get the fields. So let's type fields. What first I want to get the SO VBLN. So it's, it will be is a sales order number, sales underscore order. This is sales order number. And what I want to get basically what I did why if the amount is available in invoice table, that amount I want to get. If the that amount is not available in the invoice table, then I want to get from the sales order table. So first we can use this here we can use case statement also. I want to show you both the things with the coalesce also we can do with the case statement also we, we can do. So if I use search the case case when uh, when 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 not where case when the uh, this uh, field of the invoice inv till operator something called netware if is not null means not null there is two things in ABAP one is null we don't have null in ABAP but in the database obviously they have null so we treat as the initial value if something is not there then we will give the initial value but in database we have null if some document itself not created then vbak table itself empty there will be no entry then we, ca we call it null so null you might have in data dictionary also one field we are having when we create the data dictionary we check the key field and initial value if we don't select that key field what will happen just search it out somewhere so i will explain in upcoming videos so if we if what will happen when we we will not select the initial value checkbox and what will happen when we select the initial value checkbox in the data dictionary when we are creating the normal table in SE11 a lot of guys don't know because we are even we are using those things from the many time so don't go in that so I just I want to explain here if it is null then I want to get if it is not null sorry if it is not null means there is some value in database table there is invoice is created and there some amount is there then get this amount then get this amount itself else get this is search case I have explained I have already explained in my last video else you get SO amount SO net we are and we have to end this case statement and is uh, alias we can give amount net amount or something we can give so this we have using the case statement let me show you result how it is for, then we will use call as things function call x function is not that much complex just to explain in purpose into table it did it data oh shit Control is tab at the rate data it underscore result. So let me do if uh, control is space. I created some template, good template, so we no need to type something. If size of ours is initial, uh, then that's it. Control F3. Let me display this out this table. Control C, uh, CL underscore demo underscore output okay control space display i want to display this table control v and go right side and that's it control f3 and let me do f9 uh, clear out the console there will be later i already performed these things f9 so we are getting the result but we are not able to identify where we are getting from so what i will do one thing I will get the invoice amount as well. First, I will get SO amount. Control C. Control V is SO underscore amount. And then we will get the net price amount as well. What we will do? Control C. Control C. Control V is invoice underscore amount. So we will get to know what amount we are getting from. So shift F1, control F3, clear out the console and do F9. Now we got, so you can see in this case, we have both the places amount. There is some of the cases where we don't have the amount in uh, 
so we have don't have amount in invoice so we are getting the sales order amount so you can see here somewhere it is that so you can see uh, this is the invoice amount so first if there is no amount in invoice ooh, i should get amount net else as amount if when invoice then get from the invoice if it is not null then we will get from the it is uh, somewhere did i mistake i think so suppose it is zero invoice amount is zero then we are getting so amount so this is if it is invoice amount is there then we are getting invoice amount if invoice amount is zero then we are getting the so amount null means there is no value is there so you can see wherever the zero is there invoice amount we are getting from so and if it is if this is not zero then we are getting from the so itself so these are the things we uh, it's it's performed using the case statement so easily you can watch out that thing i didn't do any mistake i thought i did some mistake because somewhere i saw zero and it's displaying wrongly i don't think so that is the case so it's correct if it is zero then it is coming from so if it is not zero uh, there is somewhere not zero all the invoice is not created for other document for this invoice so if it is already invoice created there is some invoice amount we are getting from here i can't see any difference amount obviously there is some other scenario as well, as well when we created sales order with some amount and when invoicing there is different amount that can be the cases but i can't see that the there there is some case like that it's straight forward that is the reason we are not seeing so uh, now same thing we will do with the call as very easy uh, what we have to do uh, so uh, what we have to do we have to use simple call as function what call x will do same thing what we have done above if first we will pass first argument we have we will pass like this control c and second argument will pass like this both the statement are similar control c control v give a space is amount underscore call x call as something we can give control f so what it will do call x can have multiple arguments it will it will whenever how it will calculate the result it will go off to first argument if it is not null it will take that value if it is null it will go to next argument take that value if it is not null if it is also null then it will go to the last argument uh, next argument like that it will go on we can have multiple argument over here at last nothing is there uh, then everything is null it is there then it will display the initial value whatever the initial value of that particular field that will be displayed like that control f3 let me show you this also let me do f9 oh let me clear out the console f9 so you can see so we are both the last both column one is coming from call as function one is coming from the case statement so i want to see somewhere where the invoice amount is zero so you can see invoice amount both the are zero so you can see here so invoice amount was zero then they go they got from the so amount if it is invoice amount is not zero then they are taking from here in this case there is then there is no we are not able to visualize the not the amount difference is not there but it is taking from trust me it is taking from the uh, invo invoice table instead of the so table otherwise it is taking from the so table that's a thing so that's a we can do the same thing using that. that that's a call as function there is some of the points i noted down it might be useful for you guys so this is a case with this case statement and this call as function both are similar so call as is a shorter form of this kind of case statement suppose we have to we have to write n number of 5 6 argument instead of writing that much case when when call as is very easy that is the reason we are using the call as and null value is an initial value an empty column it's a row of the data visible i just want to explain what is null and initial so whenever we create the data in the database table so suppose uh, one sales order we didn't create an invoice there is no entry exists in database means what it will get there is nothing is there that that means null so until unless there there is no entry is there then it will be null but as soon as we create one entry for the sales order 
so in, in, in even their value we didn't update it but what as we do it will update the initial value whenever the data data is created in the database so that it, it will become the initial value instead of the null value so that's the difference between null and initial even when, when we write down in uh, in the sc11 we select the initial value for the primary key fields what we are telling make if there is no entry then make those fields as a initial value as a 000, 000 as soon as the value is created i hope you learn something new from this video please like this video subscribe this channel and share these videos with others as well so they can also learn it will give me huge motivation to create the videos like this thank you and happy learning